When Bowers and Wilkins introduced the P3 on-ear headphone, it got a lot of attention, partly because Bowers and Wilkins is a really popular speaker line with audio enthusiasts and also just really slick design and they sounded great. And now we've got this, the P5 wireless. And among audio enthusiasts, this is a pretty well anticipated headphone. So we decided to check it out. You'll find these at your local Apple store in a couple weeks. Right now you've got to buy them directly from Bowers and Wilkins. And here they are, the P5 wireless. As you can see, they are an on-ear Bluetooth headphone. So we've got a little power switch down here at the bottom that also allows you to pair the headphones with your uh, device. And then on the back of the right hand ear cup are an up and down volume control and a uh, activation control if you want to pull up Siri or OK Google. Just like the wired P5, you've got ample headband padding up top. And then the uh, ear cups are also well padded with sort of a memory foam type thing. Because it's a leatherette material, they do tend to get a a little bit warmer on hot days outside, but um, you know, a very comfortable, soft feeling on the ear. One minor noise, it took me forever to find the labeling for the left and the right ear cups. It turns out they're, they're right here. Um, but yeah, that's not very obvious. The ear cups do fold flat like this so that you can fit them in the uh, included case. However, you can't break them down any further than that. So they're not real compact for travel, but that's probably not a huge issue. Um, the battery lasts about 17 hours, give or take, based on volume, which is actually excellent for a uh, Bluetooth headphone, especially one of this size. And just like the other headphones in the P-Series, you don't take the cable and put it into a jack at the bottom of the headphones. Rather, you pry off this magnetic ear pad, and then you see that we've got the channel and the jack right there, so we can pull this out a little bit, put in our cable, and then run it through. Then you just pop this guy right back on. Now it's time to drop the price bomb. How much? 400 bucks, which is a $100 premium over the wired version. So that kind of makes sense, but it's still awfully pricey. Granted, Bowers & Wilkins is a luxury brand, but you got to bring the sound with the style if you're going to ask for that much money. So do they pull it off? Well, they sound good. There's a lot to like. It's got a little extra bump in the mid bass, so it's got that punchy sound. The bass goes nice and deep without ever actually getting in the way of everything, so they never sound muddy. The mid range is nice and clear, but I'm really disappointed with how the uh, high frequencies sound with these. I figure you spend that much money, it should sound really refined, and I feel like there's this kind of plasticky sheen over the high frequencies that just doesn't belong there. And it's not something that I hear in the smaller P3 or even the wire version of the P5 version too. Of course, sound is a very subjective thing. So what I can say is you should definitely go check these out. They're super luxurious. I love the way they feel and they do sound good. You just need to find out if it's the right sound for you.